God, please, please, please let me find a spot. Why is there never any parking here? Oh, yes. Oh, there's a spot right there. Hurry up, go get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No, 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 no. Damn it. So glad we got this spot just in time. Sir, I, I really need this spot. Sorry, lady, but we got here first. You're too late. No, but please, you don't understand. This is an emergency. I need to be inside right now. Go find another spot, all right? Yeah, we have to go. No, please, you don't understand. <laughs> Okay, what was that all about? I don't know, that was really weird. <sighs> Doctor, I am so sorry. I, I came as soon as I could. How's my daughter doing? I think you should take a seat. Okay. I'm so sorry, but her daughter passed away five minutes ago. We tried everything to save her. other bag too. Oh, you totally should have. If my dad gave me his credit card, I would have. Yeah, and the gold one is so cute. Well, maybe I'll come back and get it before our New York trip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, you got a parking ticket. Again, how much is it? Oh, $54, not bad. Not bad. My parents would kill me if I came home with that. Yeah, mine too. And you know this is a reserved spot, right? There's a $5 parking lot right across the street. I know, but that's way too far to walk. And my feet are already hurting from shopping in heels all day. It's fine. I'll just use my dad's credit card to pay for it. He probably won't even notice. You got another parking ticket, Tasha. Not right now, Mom. I'm in the middle of something important. You call online shopping important? Uh, yeah. Winter collections just dropped. You know how fast things sell out? What are all these? Don't tell me you spent more money on- Mom, I don't want another lecture. Can you please just leave me alone? See, this is the problem. We spoiled you too much, and now- Dad! Mom's acting crazy again. Can you please get her? Crazy? Asking you to not throw money out the window is crazy? Dad! What's with all the yelling? Can you get mom out of my room, please? She's bothering me. She thinks me telling her to not waste so much money on shopping and parking tickets is bothering her. <laughs> oh, I got a $54 ticket. It's not a big deal, okay? It's not like I meant to get it. Another ticket. Isn't this your third one this month? Thank you. She has no regard for money at all. Why would I? We're rich. You guys own the hottest restaurant in town. Why are you acting like we're poor? Now you see, you spoiled her too much. Make her pay for her own ticket and cut up her credit cards. That's the only way she's gonna learn. What? No way, I'm not getting a job and you can't get rid of my credit card. Dad, please say something. <sighs> I'll pay for this last one. But if you get one more ticket, you're on your own. Thank you, Dad, you're the best. Of course he's the best, he gives you everything you want. What about the shopping? Are you gonna say anything to Tasha about that? Try to cut down on the spending, okay, sweetheart? Of course, not a problem. I love you. Love you too.
I called the store and they said that there's only one gold purse left in stock. They better not sell it. I'm sure it'd still be there. You don't have to drive so fast. Yeah, I think you should try slowing down. And risk someone else buying it? Not a chance. I need it for her trip. Oh, have you guys booked your tickets yet, by the way? I'm just waiting for my direct deposit from work to hit, then I'll book mine. Yeah, same. I get paid tomorrow, so I should be good to go. What about you? I'm dropping by my parents' restaurant later. Someone asked them then. I know my dad will be cool with it. It's just my mom that I'm worried about. <coughs> oh, a cop! I can't wait this is happening. I tried to warn you to slow down. Dude, the cop is coming to the car right now. Why do you need to call the store? To see if they can hold the bag for me. If someone else buys it, I'm gonna be so mad. How's everything going? Amazing. Oh, you know, can't complain. Hey, Jen. Mind if I leave this here? Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. One sec. You may want to try another pinch of salt. Want to try some? I'm okay, thanks. Keep up the good work. So how's it going? Good. Um, you got a sec? I wanted to ask you about something. Sure. What's up? So, you know how I've always talked about wanting to go to New York? Yeah. Well, my friends are planning a trip and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind paying for me to go? Did you ask your mom about it? Come on, dad. You already know what she's gonna say. Can you please just make this happen for me? You got another ticket? Mom, calm down, there's people around. We just spoke about this yesterday. And look, she got a speeding ticket today for $100. Why are you going through my stuff? Tasha. And that's not all. She also bought another bag, right after she said she'd stop spending so much. Yeah, but it's not even that expensive. You call $900 not that expensive? This is all you're doing. She's never going to appreciate anything unless she has to work for it. Your mom's right. And I'm sorry, but I'm not paying for your trip to New York. New York? But Dad, my friends are going. Please. All these years we've worked so hard and we haven't even seen New York. Do not give in. It's time to take away the credit card. It's gone too far. Give me my credit card back. No. Please don't do this to me, Dad. How am I gonna pay for anything? The same way we all do, by working for it. You want me to work? You won't even have to look for a job. Most people's parents don't own their own business. Hey, remind me how much I pay you guys. Uh, 20 bucks an hour? Right. I'll pay you 18. And here, you can even start right now. There's absolutely no way I'm wearing that. Fine, then I guess you won't be buying anything anymore. Or going to New York. It sucks. And don't think we forgot about the credit card. Are you serious? Without her dad's credit card, Tasha finally has to work for everything she wants. She starts by cooking food in the kitchen. She then has to clean dirty tables. She even has to take out the trash. She finally starts to understand just how hard making money really is. And then a couple weeks later, Tasha gets a little surprise. Hey dad. Hey mom. Hi honey. How was work? It was alright. We're so proud of you for working so hard. Thanks. I'm gonna go shower. Wait, wait. I got something for you. Your first paycheck. 
Really? How much did I make? $897? Yeah, almost enough to buy another purse. Wow, I can't believe I did all that work just to be able to buy one purse. It means more when you have to earn it yourself, right? Yeah, it does. Actually. Where are you going? Is it okay if I use your credit card? Why? I'm gonna return all of it. I realize now that I don't need this. Especially knowing how hard it was to make back all that money I spent. Really? Yeah. And I was thinking, after I'm done returning everything, maybe I could use the money to- I knew there was a catch. Let me guess. Pay for your trip to New York? No, I was gonna pay for that myself. What I was going to say is we buy you guys tickets, you know, so that you both could come with me. You want us to come with you? Yeah, if you want to, that is. Are you kidding? We'd love to. <laughs> this line is so long. Yeah, but I'm sure it'll go fast. God, and this old geezer is taking forever. We're gonna be late for lunch. You know what? Let's go. No, you can't just... Dad! Uh... Hey! You can't just walk out without paying for something. Gum? No! I don't want any of your stolen gum, okay? Then I'll get your bad karma. <laughs> okay. All right, tell me you don't really believe in that, do you? I actually do. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. Well, I stole this gum, right? Where are you, Karma? Come and get me for this stolen pack of gum. I deserve it. Oh, no? You don't exist. If I was going to get caught, it would have already happened. Okay, that's not how it works. It's not always immediate, and sometimes it comes back to you in unexpected ways. Ted? You're not supposed to be parked there. It says reserved, probably for the owner. Look, there's plenty of open spots in the line. Look, I don't know who this Joe Cali guy is, but he's crazy if he thinks I'm paying $5 to park in his lot. Besides, he's probably some old geezer who can't do anything. Okay, if you say so. It's a cool jacket. I've never seen you wear that before. Oh, thanks. I just got it. Oh. Let's go, we're gonna be late to lunch. That was delicious. Yeah, good call on the place. Thanks. Here you are, sir. A glass of 2002 Robert Mondavi Cabernet Sauvignon <laughs> Reserve. And your check. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> How are you paying for all of this? You got a new promotion? <laughs> no, why do you ask? What? New jacket, nice restaurant, and expensive wine. Uh, <laughs> can you give us a few moments? Oh, sure, no problem. Take your time. Why is he just standing there? Have you never ordered expensive wine before? No. He's waiting for you to try it. <laughs> oh, okay. Mmm. Well. That's great. <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy. That was so awkward. $175. What? Oh, Ted, uh, the jacket. Oh, yeah. What jacket? Kiki, okay, okay, use this, use this. Oh, yeah, thank you. No, 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 no. It's just making it worse. Oh, man, in red wine is impossible to get out. <laughs> What? You should have not stolen that gum. Oh, as if that has anything to do with this. You know what? Give me the bill. I want to go. $100 for a glass of wine? That is ridiculous. Didn't check the price before you order it? No, but I didn't think it was going to cost $100. You know what? Forget this. 
Here, I'll split it with you, mm. okay? No way, no chance am I paying that much. Oh, wow. Ow. Okay, besides that one wasn't even that good. I, she just drank the whole thing, so. Yeah, it's called not being wasteful, Randall. Listen, here's the plan, give me your hand. I'm gonna walk out of here, wait a few moments, and then follow. Oh, I'm not going to the dining dash, Ted. What are you, Ted? Wait for Ted, where are you, Ted? Ted, just... Uh, yeah. You're seriously unbelievable, you know that? Okay, what's unbelievable is how much they try to charge for a glass of wine. I could've bought a new jacket with that money. Okay, Ted, where's your car? What are you... Where did it go? Yo, hey man, you can't tow my car. Oh yeah, well, it'll be 250 to get it down. <laughs> okay, you're insane. I'm not gonna pay you anything. All right, well, here's where you can pick up your car later. It'll be 350 by the time it gets processed. Yeah, no, you're not gonna tow my car. Get it down right now. Hey man, you shouldn't have parked in Joe Cali's spot. He had to park his rolls in the lot. So that's the guy that got my car towed? Do not leave, I'm gonna go talk to him, okay? Stay! Hey, Gramps. Yeah, you. Why'd you get my car towed? Excuse me? Don't act like you don't know. You could have written me a note or, or got me a ticket. You didn't have to get me towed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. I need you to tell him to put my car down right now. Hey, I'm serious. Don't think I won't hurt an old man. Why do you think he would believe me? <laughs> because you're Joe Cali. No. I'm not. Okay, then who is? Did you just threaten my dad? Uh, no, 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 I, I would never do anything like that at all. You didn't just say you weren't afraid to hurt an old man? Um, I, if I did, I was definitely kidding. That's what I thought. Now, if I ever catch you parked in my spot. Uh, it... Joe, Mr. Callie, sir, it won't happen. Oh, but again, don't worry about that. And sir, have, have a great day. Sorry about the misunderstanding, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ka oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, just me. <laughs> Keep walking. Okay. <sighs> can you take 200? 250 is all that I got. Nah, man, you can just pay the 350 down at the lot. Hey, no. Take it all. Just get my car down now. Yeah. $250. Are you kidding me? What a crook. <laughs> What are you smiling about? Well, I told you, you should have not parked. You're saving me the lecture, Randall. Ah. I mean, can today get any worse? <laughs> gum? Who spits their gum out on the ground? <laughs> These are new. Stop laughing, Randall. Stop buying. Okay, okay. okay. Well, I really hope all of this taught you a lesson. <laughs> I don't know about that, because I still got a free lunch, and... <whistles> there he is. That's the guy who stole the gum and skipped out on his tab. You, out of the car, now. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding. Mm, that's just unbelievable. I won't even say it. Four weeks paid vacation. All you can need. Hey boss. Oh, hey Jared. I was just speaking to Evan about the new senior manager position opening up. I'll be making my decision later on today, so hey, you bring your A-game here. I won't let you down, boss. <laughs> Owen, nice suit. Fits you real nicely. I'll walk in with you. Let me park real quick. Really? It's a handicap spot. You can't park there. Who cares about handicapped people? Besides, I'll be the new senior manager soon, so I can park wherever I want. Excuse me, young man. Can I park there? I have a handicap permit. Absolutely not. I've already parked. Go find another spot. Well, I'm using a wheelchair. You know, it would help me out a great deal if you could just... Did you not hear me? I said... Look, don't worry about it, sir. You can have my spot. I'm parked right there, so... Look, this is why you'll never be the next senior manager. 
you waste your time helping people, that can do nothing for you. It's like what our company motto says. You should always have compassion for strangers. Oh, please. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'll see you inside. I'm sorry about that. I'm moving right now. Thank you. You know, if this isn't what the next senior manager looks like, I don't know what is. Not that you would know. Whoa! Where you turn, man? Oh, would you mind using a regular stall instead? I, I really need to use the bathroom. Can't you see I got here first? Or are you handicapped and blind too? Well, can you see the stall clearly says handicap on it? And it's the only way for me to get my wheelchair in the stall, man. Well, that's not my problem now, is it? If you want this stall, you can wait till I'm done with it. Um, hey, we do have a nearby bathroom with a bigger stall that I can take you to. Really? Thank you so much. But why are you being real nice to me? I just believe in helping people. It's our company motto, so. Please, after you. So you're a senior manager here? <laughs> no. I wish. That'd be my dream, but Jared, my coworker you met, He's probably going to end up getting that position, so. Well, you just keep doing the right thing. Because in the end, a good heart always wins. Here we are. <laughs> oh, thanks. Mm, I heard the promotion comes with the new office. Maybe you can visit me sometime. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Just, just grab me some more. Who even are you? And what are you doing here again? Oh, I came to visit. Oh, no. Can you grab that for me, please? I, I need to take my medicine. Seriously? You people think you're so entitled to everything, don't you? No, not at all. You want easy parking, the biggest bathroom stalls, and for everyone to bend over backwards for you. Do you want me to push you around too? Uh, no, I can. You know what? Never mind. I don't even know why I asked. Come on, Evan. Let's go. Time to meet with the boss. Here. Thank you so much. Are you serious right now? Come on. What are we always saying here? You should Save it. Look, this is why you'll stay as a low-level associate for the rest of your life. Let's go! Now everyone, the moment of truth. It's time to announce the person who's gonna be promoted. Mr. Griffin, has anyone ever told you how great your skin looks? You just keep looking younger and younger. Well, thanks, Jared. You've always been so good with your words. And now the new senior manager is. Hey, I'm about to be made the new senior manager. Get lost. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. You can stay, Dad. Dad? Wait, uh, he's your dad? Yeah. And he's the best dad. He's the reason I started the whole company. You see, my dad hasn't been able to walk most of his life. For as long as I can remember, he's always been in a wheelchair. But that's never stopped him from being a great father. Growing up, it hurt me to see how people would treat my dad. They looked down on him and treat him like he was somehow beneath them. I'd see it time and time again. People always treating him differently just because of his handicap. But the part that would hurt most was just how inconsiderate people could be. Laugh. 
laughing and staring at my dad as if he had no feelings. That's why I vowed to one day start my own company and use it to help disabled people everywhere. So you see, my dad is the reason I started this company. He's even the reason for our company motto, always be compassionate to strangers. Wow, Mr. Griffin, that was so touching. And Brian, by the way... Oh, save it, Jared. My dad's already told me how you treated him. He did? Yeah. And he's also told me how nice that Evan has been to him. So that's why I choose Evan to be our new senior manager of this company. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating our company values. I'm sure this company will be in good hands under your leadership. Wow, thank you so much. You, don't know. you can't be serious. No one deserves that promotion more than me. Look, if you don't give me the senior manager position, then I'm quitting. Well, that won't be necessary. Because you're fired! Now pack your things and go. Evan, when you're ready, I'll show you to your new office. This is ridiculous. Hey, don't be upset. Maybe you can come visit me in my new office sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> thank you again. I really appreciate it. And thank you, sir, for putting in a good word. <laughs> it's like I said, you keep doing the right thing. And in the end, a good heart always wins. Doyle, let's have you spar with Allie. What? Female cops belong behind a desk. Training's over. Not on the streets fighting bad it's guys. The real world out there now. We'll see about that. You're with Allie. I'd rather work alone. You don't have that choice, do you? <clears throat> Had enough, princess? 